Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl love and tea. Be saying, you know, be having to save this. Bitch, I can start, say whatever the fuck I want to say. Start shutting the fuck no, up. No, bitch, you start shutting the fuck up. Watch your hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today Happy Tuesday I miss y'all, it's been a while since I've been online on YouTube Since I've posted anything So welcome to an episode of Tea Time Unfiltered I hope you guys are doing good I'm still hanging in there um, So I wanted to come on here and talk about the whole Ari Fletcher situation If you guys don't know, this is being brought back up again Because uh, the ladies of Fox Soul, uh, Lisa Ray and Claudia Jordan and the other women on there, um, they're talking about this whole Ari situation um, because this has gone viral. She had a Fenty Savage deal with Rihanna, Ari Fletcher did. And since her comments and her nonsense went viral a few weeks ago, you cannot find her on the Fenty website. And so that led a lot of people to believe that Rihanna dropped her. Because as we all know, Rihanna does not play when it comes to domestic violence at all. She does not find it funny. She does not find it, you know, something to joke about. She doesn't find it entertaining. Because she went through her own domestic violence situation back in 2009 with Chris Brown. On top of this, if you guys remember, if you guys remember this a year ago, Drea was also clowning domestic violence when it came to Meg The Stallion. And um, she was supposedly telling a joke on a podcast that she was doing and making it seem like, you know, if a guy shoots you in the foot, that means like, you know, he cares about you, whatever. And so Rihanna did not find that funny and she dropped Drea. Now, Rihanna doesn't comment about stuff like this. She's never going to come out and say this is what she did. You're literally going to go onto the website and you just won't see these girls anymore. So after Ari Fletcher went on to this podcast, basically she was on there and she was talking about how, you know, toxic, you know, relationship habits. And one of the toxic habits she would do is get into it her boyfriend and act like she was going to leave. And she'd be packing up her shit and saying, I'm about to buy a ticket. I'm getting the hell up out of here. And she felt like in order for the guy to show her that he loved her, he needs to pull out a gun on her and say, you know, bitch, don't you leave where you think you're going. I wish you would walk out the door. It was just really disturbing. I'm like, this is a ghetto ass toxic fantasy. I wasn't feeling it. And a lot of people were not feeling it either. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out really quick. We don't have like a toxic thing where we like, like, we like to talk about it. Like, I'm okay, I'm mad, this is why I'm mad, and this is what needs to happen moving forward, so this don't make me mad no more. We like world, though. It's weird. I've never been like this before. I don't think I've ever had something that wasn't toxic. Because I think I'm the toxic No, because he, he, be, he make me feel like, how old is you? Like, grow the f*** up. Oh, he, he get do, you with Yeah, that. he do that to me. Because I used to pack my up, like, I'm leaving. You da-da. That's me. Really never booked a flight. Fake booking a flight. Like calling my manager, like, yeah, book me a flight home. Da, da, da. You know, calling my mama, the breaking shit right in, and then like, now you got to stop me from leaving. But I was never going nowhere. Oh yeah, you talk to me. Like, pull your gun out and show me like, evil. I wish you would walk out the door. Right. Like, uh, I'm not. She from the shine. She from the shine. She's from Chicago. You folks. already pull your gun out. All right, so you guys just saw that video, and like I said, that went viral, and a lot of people, the joke was lost on a lot of people. People were like, okay, does she want money bag yo to do this? Because he seems way too mature to even get down like that, and why would you even put that out there to young girls to think that that's how a guy loves you is by pulling out a gun on you. So this triggered a lot of women because a lot of women have been through this, you know, where you try to leave a, you know, a, a domestic violence type situation or a toxic relationship and the person is threatening to kill you. The person puts a gun to your head. The person, you know, threatens your life. So a lot of people did not find this okay. And people were calling Ari out about this. They were taken to her Instagram page and calling her out. And in Ari fashion, because this girl does not have a, a humble bone in her body, she starts cussing people out. 
She starts going off on them, saying that they're ugly and bitch wouldn't you you're ugly. Wouldn't no dude want to pull out a gun on you anyways because you're ugly. And it's just like I could not believe the words that were coming out of Ari's mouth. I'm just like, I guess I shouldn't be shocked. But, you know, I'm not a follower of hers, but I know she has so many young girls who follow her and look up to her. It's like, dude, what are you thinking? So I want you guys to go ahead and watch her rant. She's like going off about the situation. Check this out. My girl podcast is going up like it's lit. All y'all with the gun. Oh, do you want your man to? Nobody cares because one, you probably don't even have a man. And two, if somebody wants their man to pull out a gun on them, that's what they want. Like nobody cares. Joking or not. Like it's none of your business. First of all, that's one. Stop trying to do a thing. Like. Why you, y'all always trying to victimize yourselves into, like, what do y'all be trying to do? Like, do you want your man to, what? And then y'all already know I don't even like the blog, like, stop, just stop, just stop. Y'all be trying to. Always paint me out to be like this crazy person. Like, oh, I am a crazy person. But, like, really, out of all the things we said, y'all could have chose a funny part. Y'all could have chose. But you chose to to, talk, to post when I said something about a gun. Pull your gun out on me, Shay. So, y'all always trying to make yourself the victim. Every time something happens. Y'all have a sad sob story. This is who y'all look up to. This is who. Yes. It is. Yes. Yes. So many young girls. So what? So what? So what? The young girls, the old girls, whoever, they like me because they like me. Because of how I am. What do you want me to come on here and do to preach fucking ABCs to people? Like, what do you want me to do? Like... I'm not coming on here to try, like, what you think this is? This is my Instagram account. Like, lead by example. Okay. Lead by example. It's really the girls in the comments, like, mind you, I don't even be in the comments like that, but I just seen the headline is what pissed me off. So I'm like, I know they just did not try to go here. Like, come on, what are we doing? Like, it's about to be 2022. We yeah, like, y'all just with the, like, what's, that's, that's not cute. Right? Like, I'm nobody's mom. I'm not trying, like, what do you think that this is? I have one son. He's three years old. He's about to be four. Girls and the victims, like, when I was nobody cares, bitch. Like nobody cares. Nobody, nobody gives a fuck. Like <laughs> nobody cares. You telling your story, your trauma, somebody put. Nobody cares. Like why are you trying to do a thing? Like stop trying to do a thing. We don't care. Like so what? What does what I say have to do with what somebody what happened to you or what you saying happened to you? Cause y'all be lying. Y'all be trying to y'all be trying to victimize yourself all of a sudden. Like if you don't like me, don't watch me. That's it. If you don't want to see me, don't look at me. Period. If you don't want to see me, don't look at me. Don't watch it. Don't look at the video. Don't look at me. Don't come on my page. Don't come. Because if you don't, then you just, it's just, you just don't. Like, what works for me might not work for you. And that's fine. That's fine. But guess what? It works for a lot of other people, okay? This is who y'all look up to. Yes! And your kids Cause it's like what? I don't like that I don't It just But anyway good morning 
Let me go get my son and child. Tell him about this. All right, so you guys just watched that video. So, and again, this is my issue with her, like I said, not having a humble bone in her body. Instead of her saying, you know what, I apologize that people were offended, but this is what I meant. You know, maybe I should explain it better. But in true Ari fashion, she's cussing people out, you know, talking about their looks. I'm surprised she didn't call domestic violence victims broke. <laughs> you know, that's her favorite word is to always call somebody broke. Anytime you try to hold her accountable, you're just broke. You're just mad. And I really thought Ari was a lot younger than what she was. I really thought this girl was like 20, 21 years old. But they're saying she's 26 years old. Meaning that she's grown as hell. And it's just like, I don't understand why people are putting girls like Ari on a pedestal and hanging on to their every word. And to me, I just feel like this was just extremely tacky. And the fact that she doubled down on it says a lot. And a lot of people were going in on her. And because of her doubling down and not being able to read the room... When people went onto the Fenty website, they noticed that her pictures were taking off. Like I said, Rihanna's never going to come out and talk about this or call out any of these girls. But one thing I know about Rihanna, she don't play about her brand. So before you fuck up her brand with your jokes and your low vibrational nonsense, Rihanna will cut you off and sever all ties. And that's what Rihanna did. So and I don't blame Rihanna. Because at this point, some of these social media influencers, they're not real celebrities. They're influencers and they don't understand the difference. They don't understand like, okay, fine. On social media, your brand is more hood. It's more ghetto. You know what I'm saying? You can say what you want because that's what your brand was built on. So if you want to talk like that, then maybe other people who sponsor you, they might be cool with it. But when you're working for somebody else's brand, that can be a reflection of their brand and that can affect them. So I don't blame Rihanna for distancing herself from Ari because the stuff that Ari was saying was not cool. So now the ladies of Fox Soul are speaking on this and Lisa Ray was saying some poignant things. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys the clips that went viral today. Check this out. Hey tea sippers, to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.